Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to Pokemon Quest. And today it looks like we got ourselves a little Caterpie here. I think we already have the evol evolved Caterpie so I can hold on to this or I could use it to train whatever Caterpie evolves into that I forget right now. Maybe Butterfree? I'm pretty sure it's Butterfree. I think it's actually first it's the uh, the Cocoon thing. Not the, uh, I don't know. There, there's a bunch of Pokemon, isn't there? I know the name of Metapod, that's what it is. I think Canopy turns into Metapod, maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, we'll just continue playing in today's episode. I wanted to mix with some things. First off, I wanted to try a different team. I said I plan on doing this pretty soon, and I think today is that day. I wanted to mix with some things. I wanted to uh, do an all starter team. So to do that, we need our Blastoise right here. I wanted to do our Charizard, which should be somewhere around here. Uh, well, here's our Venusaur. Our Charizard is very low level comparatively level 50, which is funny because we started with him. And I figured we would try this combo and see how things go. Maybe it'll be special, maybe it'll be really cool. But there's only really one way to find out and that's to go ahead and give it a shot. Now it's probably not gonna be the best ever because like I said, some of these Pokemon are rather low leveled. But I wanted to try it and just sort of have some fun with it and maybe some good things will come of it. Uh, but for now, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. It looks like we can get you a double bingo bonus if I could get you more as we go on though, that'd be great. I know we have like a couple ponytails that I might use to help you out a little bit, because right now you have plus 30% movement speed, uh, plus 100% resistance to burns, and then you can get plus 15% critical hit rate, which sounds okay. I mean, you have some all right moves, and we'll go ahead and try to improve those a little bit more with, uh, I mean, what is the green stone? The green stone is going to, I guess, yeah, like, affect the burn. But I think we'll just go, you know, I'd rather go with the low cooldown, I think would be better. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And then we'll move over to all the other Pokemon <laughs> and see how things go. I mean, it's always a cool setup, I think. You know, just because it's all three starters. I'd love to hear out of these three starters, which one is your favorite? I'd always love to hear that kind of stuff. But for now, we need to go ahead and boost some of this stuff as well. So go ahead and put some health on you, whatever I really can. I mean, I'm not doing it in any particular order, and I don't even know if this team would be able to tackle uh, World 12 at all, but I figured we'd try it, see how things go, and if we have fun, awesome. That's sort of the big point <laughs> of the game, right, is to have fun. So here's our double bingo bonus. It will be what? Healing from KO is plus 2%. Own knockback distance is minus 20. So when when uh, Venus over here does a move, it won't knock himself back as much. And then finally, we have fire type damage taken minus 50%, which might be nice. We need to earn up this last uh, damage stone to really get that one, but it'll happen in time. Now, I would think that it might be a good idea to do a, uh, a broad burst stone for you because all it does is add to the whip width of it, which could always be good. And we'll just make the uh, tackle, just make it a weightless stone, see how that goes. And finally, Blastoise. We've played a little bit as each of these guys, but now we'll be able to play as them all together. And that should at least look cool, right? If I could actually choose Blastoise. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> okay, try now. No, it's, it's just not working. Okay, so I finally got Blastoise up. The only thing, I really don't like that he has tackle as this move, so I definitely think that we should work on move training for Blastoise, because honestly, I feel like if we could get something good there, it could have the chance of being a really powerful Pokemon. What are his bingo bonuses? Attack of water type moves is always great, plus 5% own knockback distance minus 20 again. Attack of water type moves again, plus 10. That if we could get this to be a water type move, I feel like that would work out really well. So for now though, let's go ahead and get whatever we can dump onto him, either that be extra health, which is looking like it will be. Uh, this health there. I'm just trying to you know apply to them whatever they, <laughs> they can get really. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, what about this golden one? Is that a hit healing? I do need to try to get some hit healing on all, all these guys, because right now they don't really have any of the particular stuff like that, but they really should get it soon. You'll have a 2.5, which is nice. And then we can just give you a lot of other damage like that. And then 763 should be pretty good. And we do have the 734 over here. That's not too bad. Just sort of taking a look at everything and sort of trying to balance it all out might be difficult. But uh, over time, right? Over time. I mean, hopefully maybe we can set up some cooking pots and maybe have the water. Like that'd be good if I want to try to find a new Blastoise. So that might be something I do. But for the tackle, if there's anything I could really do for it, I mean, there really isn't too much. I think always the double weightless is usually a pretty good idea. So we'll try that out. And there we go. We should be good to just go in and try the all starter team and see sort of what effects can really happen. I mean, probably not anything crazy, but at least we can have fun with it. The score is 20,000, which isn't too bad, isn't crazy good. That's just somewhere in the middle. 
So we'll try just the lowest one, which is 18,000, and we'll sort of see how our Pokemon's moves work. Maybe they'll be good, maybe they won't be so good. But I figured it'd be a fun specialty episode, and if there's any other kind of cool uh, team setup you wanna see me try in this series, let me know, and maybe we'll try it. So. Let's try Vine Whip right away. I do think Vine Whip is interesting. Even with the Broad Burst Stone though, it's very thin. We already got some rainbow material, which is pretty nice. Let's try Vine Whip again. It is funny that, you know, two of our starters have Tackle, which, you know, most of the po Pokemon starters start with Tackle, don't they? One thing I like is that there's a lot of moves going on that are doing some fair damage. The only problem is that, like, Bla or not Blastoise, but Charizard is very, very low health. Let's go ahead, maybe I should have tried uh, Ember there. That's actually the one that has the upgrades. We're, we're winning some decent damage. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna actually beat the boss with this, but we can at least try it. Maybe this will actually be worth leveling up a little bit, or at least some of these guys. Maybe not as like a, you know, a fully working unit, but 10,000 damage on the Vine Whip is really nice. It's hard to land, but it's snappy, which is nice. It's not that hard to line up. Okay, we can bubble, we can do the Vine Whip. We got rid of like two of them there. I guess I'm doing Fire Punch. I mean, I got rid of one of them, which isn't too bad. Vine Whip, Vine Whip is really good. Okay, Ember. Ember's still like in it. I don't, I'm not sure how much I feel about Ember. But there's like, boom, they press the Vine Whip, it happens, it lands. And I like that. Very few moves are actually like that in this in this game, weirdly enough. I mean, we're all pretty low on health, I guess. I mean, it's really just uh, Charizard, which is funny, because I think he has to hit healing, right? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe that was a, uh, you know, that might have been, uh, yeah, I guess that was Blastoise. We need to go ahead and make sure we, we balance those stones out a little bit then. But in the meantime, if we could go ahead and make you do your Ember just like that, sort of keep you guys back a little bit. The bubble's nice because it hits through multiple targets. And you know, like the Ember is okay because so, it keeps uh, Charizard away a little bit. So Vine Whip. And we're actually gonna be able to get them. Look at this, this seems working. I didn't think we were gonna see any success, especially with how tough last episode was. Uh, let's do Fire Punch. Oh, okay, so Charizard finally got taken out. We have a full three minutes to get rid of this dude. It's not a problem at all. I'm really happy with this Venusaur for sure. Okay, awesome stuff. So, of course, we might get like extra health stones and stuff, but that's not really what I'm looking for. If I could train this team up, that's fantastic. You're almost at level 51 already. Yeah, you were only at level 50, and we were able to do that. That's really crazy when you think about it. If we had like hit healing in the right places, our power might go down overall, but I think it would lead to a more effective team. So, I do want to mess with that a little bit. So. Blastoise always already has some hit healing. I don't think Charizard has any. So if we could change that up a little bit, I think that would be good. Because he has like a lot of high level stones here, but none of them have that hit healing sort of bonus or anything like that. So I do want to take a look and see what I might be able to throw on top of some guys and sort of see what ends up happening. Like this is a 2.2 uh, hit healing. And it is a damage stone as well. So what's the lowest damage stone? We have a uh, 912, that's just a base. So it's a huge dip down in that way. But it might be worth our while if it can help you stay alive a little bit longer, you know? So that's always good. I mean, there's a hit healing up here, but that's for the Blastoise, okay. And then for Venusaur, which I don't even know if Venusaur really needs it all that much. Especially since he's about to get another damage stone, we could just wait it out, and I think that'd be fine. So, oh my gosh, some great combos for sure. I'm really liking it. And I can't wait for these cooking pots to fill up. Some of them are pretty close to, so hopefully we can get those soon, and maybe they'll just give us some more Pokemon that might help our team right here. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I do have to, I gotta either expand my bo box or recycle. I'll recycle, but I do need to just expand it soon, I think would probably be a better bet. If we have anything that's like a base back here, I mean, I have this, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And is this a hit healing? It's a 2.2, but it's at 500. Like, it's really not that great. But we'll just get rid of this one base and I'll worry about the rest later. I always say that, and then I never worry about it, and then I have this issue constantly. But one day, one day for sure, go back in. Should we try the next level now? I mean, our score, once again, is slightly lower, but at the same time, we were able to beat this with a 19,000. So I think that we'll be able to handle it just fine. So I guess really this isn't too crazy surprising how we're handling this, but I thought it was gonna be worse, because really the power doesn't matter. We've had much higher power and just gotten destroyed across the board. But with this one, I think it's nice, because it just, the moves are great. Cause we, oh, that was like almost a one hit already. And then we can do fire punch because why not? It's fire punch, but I missed. That's sort of the, the dangerous thing about fire punch. And like Vine Whip hits through multiple targets, do the bubble. Oh, who did, Blastoise already taken out though. Getting a little overwhelmed by the number of opponents here, I think. Oh, that's bad. And then sort of the big thing is that, you know, these guys don't have like a main defense mechanism. I can see Venusaur wrapping up nicely in other teams that I might have done though. Maybe something with uh, like Jinx's guard or whatever. Could be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, and that should heal you a little bit, but not by a lot, but at least something, you know? Go ahead and do that a little bit. That did some good healing. 
But these guys don't really hit hard enough or consistent enough to make hit healing a major factor, but it definitely helps over time. Um, go ahead and do this. And then Charizard is out. But Venusaur is just the man. I mean, I know he's higher level. I know you're gonna explode, because you're a jerk. Electros just do that all the time. There we go. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh boy. Fine whip, fine whip. Okay, we got rid of one of them. Now we just gotta hit that guy multiple times, I guess. Got him. Okay, good job. Yeah, Venusaur is awesome. <laughs> I love him. He's the best out of the starter so far. Okay, bubble. But of course, Charizard's gonna have a hard time. He's level 50. It's gonna make sense that he's not gonna be doing the best. But that's where, like, if we actually like this team, we can focus on the strengths of it and try to really boost those. Try to get a couple more Bulbasaur's. Try to get a couple more uh, Charmanders out of those, you know, specific golden cooking pots. That was so much damage or dodge. Oh, that was a stealth rock. That must hurt. Okay, go ahead and land it. Okay, getting a little bit hurt. You must have hit healing because you definitely healed up a little bit there. Charizard immediately got taken out. Poor guy. Okay, fine whip. But it's basically like a free half health heal. Too bad that wasn't enough. Ah, oh, that stinks. Okay. Well, we tried. We made it decently far. Once again, for a team that's really under leveled, we'll have to skip or st keep with the uh, first level of this world. But still, it's pretty fun. Um. Will you get level 51? You will, nice, okay. So whenever we get these new cooking pots in here, we're definitely gonna switch them out for some other stuff. I think that would be a good idea, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and go back in, 18,000, and see how things go back over this way. Hopefully well. Uh, but let's find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and immediately vine whip. I uh, only hit one of them, but it did take them out, you know? Which is pretty good. Just do vine whip. Because the Vine Whip's also not that bad of a cooldown. I don't know what we have on it. I thought we had the Broadstone. I'm pretty sure we do. Which I definitely think helps because it's a very thin move, but I think what would be better is probably just having it so it, it's not as long as a wait because it's so direct. It's not that big of a deal when it doesn't land or, or, or a big, a, big of a deal when it only hits one person because we can get it set up again pretty quickly. So, but that's something I need to focus on. Okay, boom. Look at that, 17,000 damage. Now I know he's like in the 80s when it comes to levels, but it's just one of those things where it's like, we've had Pokemon level 100 that don't do that kind of damage. I mean, I know that was a critical as well, but I think the point still stands, you know? That is crazy stuff. Hit you for 7,000 right there, ow. I wish we had an electric type Pokemon that had that. Oh, and it, it just lands every time. I thought that one wasn't gonna land, but it still did. So it's just awesome. Go ahead and hit you with that. Almost got you, I'm just gonna tackle you this time. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, it seems to actually be just as long, if not longer of a cooldown. Oh my, these two. I don't know if we've ever beaten this boss fight duo, so we'll try it out, we'll see how things end up happening. That fire punch did not land. Uh, and just keep doing Vine Whip, Vine Whip. Okay, Vine Whip did okay, could have been better. That was all right. Do bubble, and then Vine Whip again. Oh, Jinx is almost out already. How beautiful is that? We're doing great. I mean, okay, we could be doing better. But it ain't bad. I mean, Mr. Mime is really holding on, but Jinx is almost taken out. There goes Charizard, though. So if we could get Charizard's level up, that would certainly help. Uh, do Bubble. Just get rid of him normally, and then Vine Whip. There we go, we beat the boss. How great is that? This is actually like a workable team. All right, so we got a lot of fossils there. We got two Power Stones that we'll probably just immediately recycle, because I highly doubt they're gonna be anything must have. But we'll take a look. Yeah, this is two base only around 600, really isn't what I'm looking for. So we're gonna recycle those two. But hey, look at that, we got ourselves a new cooking pot. What's it gonna have? Uh, It's gonna be the one right here. So this one probably doesn't have very good materials if it's only out of four. But it is yellow curly, cur curly, <laughs> yellow curry. Oh, hey! I don't think I've evolved you yet. If you can evolve in Gen 1, we're about to find out if you're a high level. Level 90 star are you? Cool, and you have a twister, dragon type move. I don't know if I really need that, but hey, I guess I'll keep it. Uh, Might be better than our other star Ryu. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and make this a uh, hot pot, so for that, what do I need? Hot pot, Uh, a lot of mushrooms and a little red. Okay. Mushroom, tiny mushroom. I'll have to figure this one out then. It's weird that this is a lot of mushrooms and a little red, but the rec recommendation for recipes I find online actually says two blueberries and then three tiny mushrooms. It's like, I mean, I guess if that works, it works, but how is that anything of the ingredients description? 
<laughs> That's total baloney. Anyways, we'll try it. We'll see what ends up happening. I mean, I think you can replace the tiny mushrooms for uh, roots and it would just you know make a supercharged thing. But honestly, it might be better when it's sort of like a lower cooldown uh, for that. I feel like I almost prefer that. So we'll try that out, see how things end up going. And let's take a look at our team then. We have that new Pokemon. It was a Staryu. And it's been something I've been needing to do in today's episode, is taking a look at the new Pokemon. So we'll give it all a shot. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, so here's the Staryu. I, I sort of like this one, but we'll take a look at the bingo bonuses and see what else we can sort of gleam about that. Uh, movement speed, Pokemon size change percent? Oh! Pokemon size change. What does size change? Like they get larger? What is the, what's the bad part about that? I guess that uh, they can be more easily hit? That's bizarre, I have never seen that. Okay, let's take a look at our, at our other Staryu. Uh, I think it's like very low level. Like I think we just got it and then put it in the box and never looked at it again. And that's, this is it right here. So the Staryu is level 11 and as you can see, Water moves to water move type weight or water type move weight minus five percent movement speed and attack. That's actually that sounds a little bit more feasible to me. I mean, neither of which uh, have any must-have situations when it comes to their moves, but I think that we'll just keep to the higher level Staryu. I think that's just gonna be fine. So we'll keep the higher level Staryu. We will uh, plop this one down there. That way we have like a ninety-one, and that's can, that can be pretty good. I don't know what it's gonna evolve into, but they're they're both fine. I don't really wor worry about it too much. I'm probably not gonna use this Pokemon too much, but Staryu will evolve, but into what? That is the question. We're gonna find out together it is. The Starmie, oh, that's cool. I don't know if Starmie evolves again. I feel like they might, but congratulations to Staryu evolved into a Starmie. One more for the Pokedex, how awesome is that? And I have to take a look at some things. I wanted to start like you know, using Pokemon that I might have duplicates of, to evolve, you know, of course, but um, like to evolve Pokemon that I don't have duplicates of, like I have a Rattata. This isn't the shiny one, it's just level 43 Rattata. Unless you have like some must have stats, which I'm doubting you will. I mean, you just have that, that's not too crazy. Movement speed attack, normal type moves attack. Yeah, it's nothing crazy out of the ordinary. So we can just go ahead and use you for training for some other Pokemon. What Pokemon that would be, it really depends. We also have like the same thing for like a slow poke here. It's just a normal slow poke. And if we take a look at your stats, um, healing per wave plus 30 HP, time to recover. Pretty typical stuff. As far as I can tell, like it's not you know knocking out of the park or anything. I mean, you had Psychic Punch and stuff, and that's pretty cool, but at the same time, I don't really need it. I already have like, I know I have a pretty decent Raticate that can do that kind of stuff, so maybe I should use that to evolve some of our other Pokemon that we really need to level up. I'm thinking stuff like the Tentacool or something. I mean, I know I need to really level up our Charizard at the moment as well, it's like, so it's always tough. It's never easy. <laughs> to find out what I should do with what. And we still have this level 91 Bulbasaur that I never decided what I wanted to do with. Um, well, actually, no, I did. I decided I did not like Petal Dance. What about your your uh, bingo bonuses? Hit healing, resistant to being poisons, HP. Like, you're tanky, but the moves aren't there. So I think that would be great to put you into our Venusaur, because I really like the Venusaur a lot. And if we double check your stuff, because I would love to do more move training, but move training always comes at a risk because you might give up a Pokemon and still not even get the move you wanted, you know? So it's like one of those things where it's like, you have to already be happy with the Pokemon before you start move training or you're gonna risk losing a ton of stuff. And I think that his bingo bonuses are okay. His skills are pretty good. I mean, I thought he was level 80. I guess he's only level 64, but he was doing that level of damage with level 64 and just like, 3,700 attack, like we can upgrade that a ton, especially if we use that other Bulbasaur. So, or, yeah, the Bulbasaur, right? Bulbasaur, that's his name, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and try that out. We got the Venusaur here, level 64, and then we have that Bulbasaur, level 91, crazy stuff there. Let's go into recycling it, and boom, see what ends up happening. That should get you all the way to the level 73, that'll be an additional power stone, which even more than it being more power, will also give you your triple bingo bonus, so you have that extra thing. Don't remember if it was really all that great, but we have it, and that's awesome. We still have this high level slow poke, which we could just you know dump right into the, uh, the other uh, thing we had. And there's another slow poke over this way, and what do you have? You're level 70 something. We have a lot more slow pokes than I thought. You also have psychic punch, so it's not really all that uncommon. Or maybe this is the one I had before. 
No, resistance to confuse, 100% HP plus 350. Okay, uh, not anything too crazy. I mean, it's good that you can't get confused, but that doesn't happen so often to the point where it's like a must have from what I see. Um, and then what was the Pokemon he involved in? Do I have him somewhere? It's the uh, Slowbro. And the Slowbro, what does he have? He has, uh, I mean, he doesn't have very good moves, to be honest with you. Um, taking critical hit rate minus 50%, HP upon recovery, healing per wave. So like, he's still probably the worst out of the three Slowpokes we have. And the highest level one was really the must have. So we could actually evolve one to the other if I care that much about having a really solid Slowpoke, which, I mean, it's good to have a really solid of every Pokemon, right? <laughs> I mean, as much as I possibly can. But uh, right now, like, you have Light Screen, you have Psychic Punch, and or your Zen Headbutt, that's what it is. It's not Fire Punch, Psychic Punch, you know. But, um, and you have a, a decent, like, HP focus thing going on, so hopefully as long as you do damage, you'll be fine. You don't have resistance to being confused, but I feel like you have the upgradable Zen Headbutt, which I feel like is the best idea there. So maybe we would keep you and dump the other two slow pokes in and sort of see how that goes. Like that would get you to level 93 already. Then we dumped uh, this guy in there and that would be level 95. So let's go ahead and try that. Just have a really powerful slow poke. Level 95 is pretty good, almost level 96. So, and he'll evolve again. So like that's not really a worry either. And just trying to improve our Pokemon as much as possible. Like that's always a good idea. So let's try that. And I'm sorry my voice is like off today. I just, I just woke up and my voice is always different when I wake up. Anyways, so bro again, level 95 though, instead of a level 40 something is way better. And then we have you over this way, the uh, the Caterpie, which I could put into something. I mean, I liked Eradicate, but I don't know what his uh, stats are really all that much. Like, I mean, he has Tackle, and then he has uh, Zen Headbutt, which as you can see now is a pretty common move. And nothing really desirable with his uh, Power Stones. Like, I could really get rid of him and not really worry about it too much. I could go ahead and put him into the uh, the shiny Radita, and like I, I just let that roll and see how things end up going. Like that wouldn't be too bad. So let's try that out a little bit. Let's see, we got the Raticate there, and there's a Radita over this way, and this Radita is level 43, and has what? Um, just Scratch, which we could always change that move out. Um, you're not the shiny one, but you have movement speed, attack of normal type moves, plus and then plus five for the attack, which is actually pretty good. Seeing how you are just a normal type. I feel like that isn't so bad. Like, we could keep on to you, maybe. Like, maybe you'd be the one we train up. But at the same time, I want to keep the shiny. So, <laughs> if we could just train up the shiny one, that'd be pretty cool, too. I also am curious to see what a shiny Raticate looks like. So, that'd be fun. Uh, So, where is that at? There's a, there's that Radita. And then there's this Radita. This is the shiny one here. So, if we take a look at you, do you even have good stats? Like, what's going on with you? Uh, You have... Not very good moves, but we can work on those later if everything else is looking good. Um, <laughs> such a weird color. Time to recover, attack, and so basically you have the same bingo bonus, which I like, so you know what? I think we'll keep with this. We'll keep with the shiny Radita. Um, we'll level it up and see how things go. I mean, you're shiny as well, right? Yep, you're a shiny Venomoth. And we also have like the Psyduck that I have to either put in the Gold Duck that's over this way, probably put it in the Gold Duck. We don't have any other Rattata, right? Now look, look, I have two Aerodactyls I need to work on. We have our Mew down here, our Mew 2. And a Chansey. There's like so many Pokemon. Oh my gosh, it's hard to keep up with. Uh, so you're the shiny one, we're not training that away. Okay, so let's go ahead and put you to level 49. That should get you an evolution. That's awesome. Okay, so you'll turn into a shiny Raticate and you'll also get another Power Stone. Not quite another uh, thing, and not quite another uh, bingo bonus for now, but wow, you're all like red and fiery almost. I guess a little orange. You look like a fire type Pokemon right now. Your Radita evolved into Eradicate. Pretty cool, I like that. So not bad, not bad, but we'll probably leave it at that for now. I feel like I've, I've made as much of a den as I can, and we'll continue on very soon with that. But for right now, I do have an extra slot for Venusaur, which I will gladly, gladly use. Uh, I'll try to set up a cooking pot that has more fire, more water for Bulbasaur, or for uh, Blastoise, I mean. <laughs> but that's an extra damage stone for you. So who has the next opening for a damage stone? It's looking probably, because you already have, do you have hit healing? Yeah, you have a, uh, you already have a decent 3.7. So if we could just get you the next best damage stone at 789, boom, boosting you to 4,500. And that's also gonna give you your third bingo bonus, which is reducing the fire type damage, which in some situations, it's not gonna hurt, which is great. So uh, yeah, let's give this a shot and see how things end up going. I can only hope 
they're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this another shot. Hopefully 12-2 will actually work this time. I feel like we should just keep grinding it until you know, it does work, and that'd be amazing. I mean, one thing is that uh, if we do four more battles, I think that we get every single one of our cooking pots, so that's gonna be exciting. Uh, I just, at this point, if I could keep leveling up these three, and then also make it so that they have better moves instead of tackle, that'd be, well, I mean, at least two of them. That'd be pretty good. But yeah, I'm really blown away about how low level uh, Venusaur is with how effective he is. I think Blastoise is a slightly higher level. I might be totally wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure. And we'll do Ember. Oh, we landed that one, nobody. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, Bubble. Got it, okay, Vine Whip. That sort of worked. Oh no, he got knocked way far back. I don't know what Metapod did there to knock him so far away. But that, that sort of worked pretty well for him. So, so far we're handling this, I feel like the, a lot better than last time we did it, but at the same time, that's not amazing. Like, we're still not doing so great. Charizard's still getting beat up, there he goes. But at the same time, it's like, it's working to an extent. I can't believe he missed that, dude. That was the first time he missed Vine, Vine Whip, but it was right in front of him, too, so that was sort of silly. I guess he can do that, and then he can hit that one, because it stacks to damage in a very interesting way. So I'm just gonna keep it how it is if I can. Got it, and then just tackle him. <laughs> That's pretty reliable, so I like it. Wave cleared, we got Charizard back up, so everything's looking good. Do this, do Vine Whip. Vine Whip sort of worked. I guess I made you tackle again. Okay, so try to land this one then. That was pretty good. I guess we could try Fire Punch. Fire Punch missed everybody in front of him. Wow, <laughs> that's really bad. But it is interesting, this like Venusaur can just 1v1 all those dudes without too much of a problem. Hit them with the bubble, hit them with the vine whip, and then just hit them normally, Charizard. Yeah, good job. Okay, so things are working out pretty okay. We got the boss fight coming up, and it's a Charizard versus a <laughs> smaller Charizard. I think we know which one's gonna win. I'm so sorry, my, my, my Charizard friend. Okay, we'll just try it though. Keep back with the ember. That sort of hit a couple of them. And Venusaur's gonna be a little bit more resistant to these fire type moves that we just unlocked because of his bingo bonus. Um. So go ahead and try to land those. Yeah, he's like unfazed at the moment. Uh, do fire punch on that <laughs> Charmeleon, cause why not? We'll do that. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, not bad. That was a pretty big crit on one of those, like, uh, was a Charmander or Charmeleon or something. Land that, land the Vine Whip, pretty good. Do the Ember. Okay, that sort of worked out. Come on, I think we're gonna get him. This will be awesome. I don't think we can handle 12-3, but it's awesome that we're able to do 12-2. I feel like maybe this will be our sweet spot for today's episode and sort of see how things end up going. All right, well, it's something. Uh, and that means we get to level 52? Level 52. It's, it's slow progress, but it is progress nonetheless. So, awesome stuff. And we get an okay power stone. Like, I don't plan on using it. I mean, if we get like a really killer golden hit healing one, that'd be awesome at some point, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. We just gotta keep grinding. That's the first level out of four. You know what? I'm tired of seeing this message. I'm gonna go ahead and expand our stones a little bit. I don't need to expand our Pokemon. We have like an entire Pokemon page we're not using. And that didn't spend too much. I plan on getting another 200 tickets tomorrow, and then I should have enough to buy another, uh, I think the balloons, maybe the Ditto balloons or something. We'll try at 12-3 and see how things go. I'm probably gonna get our butts kicked but uh, we'll see how things end up going, and hopefully we'll have a good time. There's only one way to find out, and that's to uh, do, it, do what we can. Okay, let's do Ember. Okay, so Charizard's already getting beat up. This is a bad sign. <laughs> he is just getting destroyed, which I, I'm not like expecting him to do better with him being level 50. I'm, I'm just really surprised these guys have held their own being as low level as they are. I feel like that, I mean, it sort of makes sense sometimes, but at the same time, like, I feel like this is, if we could level this up and expand the power stones and really get like a solid setup with it, maybe improve whatever these moves could be instead of tackle, I feel like we could get some major stuff done for sure. But in the meantime, Venusaur will do Vine Whip ball on his own without me having to tell him. Okay, so everybody's back up. Do that Vine Whip. That was good, I told you to do that once. That's always nice. Oh gosh, he got like super far back because of that Ice Blast. That was not good. But just, it lands 12,000 damage and it's relatively low cooldown. I mean, I don't know if we should get a whack whack on that, but I'm pretty sure we shouldn't. I think we should just keep it low cooldown. Oh gosh, we're getting paralyzed. That's not good. Come on, hit that, do the ember. Ember might not land. It sort of kind of landed. Okay, Venus was getting really low on health because he can't use his moves. Come on. Okay, that, that helped him. It really is like just a quick heal. Blastoise is down. Yeah, the paralyzation did not help. Okay, got rid of you, nice quick. 
Oh my gosh, Venusaur is so great. Like, I just want to sort of mix him into a team with somebody else and see how that ends up going. Like, we might actually be able to do major numbers with him. Okay, wild well, Pokemon are coming in. It's just you for now. Uh, I mean, Gengar can be scary. I mean, every Pokemon can be scary in this game. There we go. Okay, run, Blastoise, run. <laughs> come on, come on. Ready, do Bubble. Bubble sort of went through him pretty well. Let's do Ember. Yeah, just keep at a distance. It landed, so that's nice. Fine whip, fine whip. Oh, he almost got taken out. Tackle him. Okay, well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping, but we're all okay for now. Could we actually do 12-3? Oh, it's these two again. Always ruining our fun. Okay, ready? That was all right. Let's do the bubble. Let's do the ember. Oh gosh, it almost took you out. Fine whip. I mean, we took you guys out last time. I was saying ruining our fun. I forgot that we actually took them out. I thought we were not successful. Uh, do bubble. Bubble did okay. There he goes, see ya. Okay, it's just Venusaur, which is really dangerous. So, they're obviously more powerful. Run away, please. You didn't really run away, did you? Ooh, fine whip. That landed, it gets you almost all the way back up to full health. It's just you're not very tanky, so that only does so much. Come on, come on. But if as long as you keep with that, you might actually be able to survive. Run, run just for an extra second so that Blastoise can like distract him for a second as well. Come on, do the vine whip. He didn't do the vine whip, what was that? He just like didn't do it. <laughs> I was pressing the button. It said the cooldown was available. Ooh, nice dodge, Blastoise. Well, not that time. But hey, we almost got rid of one of them. So 12-3 is definitely our limit at the moment, but I really wanna mix Venusaur up with maybe some teams we've previously had and sort of see how things go that way. I think it would turn out really well. Um, But hey, it's something. We get another level up for Charizard. The fact that we're doing so well that we lose and we get like basically a full level for Charizard shows you how well things are going. Um, So yeah, let's keep moving. All right, so back to the expedition. It's looking like uh, this might not turn out so bad. Oh gosh, I did fire punch for him. I, I like these, usually these outside green happy areas are a lot less challenging for some reason, so I usually relax a lot more with them. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do Ember. Ember is going to land, right? It, it landed a little bit, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, hit that, that was good. Vine Whip is just, it's my favorite right now out of everybody's moves. Obviously, I've been talking about it all episode long, but I think a team with him may be the, uh, I would say probably, oh gosh, wrong one. Oh, that was also wrong. <laughs> but um, probably maybe uh, Jinx so we can get that defense and then maybe do something that's a little bit more tanky but at the same time maybe hits hard. So we could do Magneton with that. I feel like it would work out pretty decently if we could get Magneton's uh, Flash Cannon which does give a higher chance of uh, doing a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, Magneton ruins everybody's fun forever. It's confirmed, he's a jerk. Was that Magneton who exploded? Whoever does self-implode. Maybe that wasn't Magneton. <laughs> but whoever does it, I just, ah. Not a fun move to go against. Let's go ahead and land this. And there goes our team. Well, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> well, let's try again. I'm not grabbing any of that because it's not gonna be worth it. Uh, And you get a tiny bit of experience. Not much. But, uh. We gotta do one more, and hopefully this one will go well, but we need to do one more, and then we should get a bunch of Pokemon, which would be great. I think we actually set a record for the time there uh, for 12-2. I, I wasn't looking at the bottom left, but I should double check that. I mean, I guess it depends on like what combo of enemies we end up going against, apparently, because sometimes we just get utterly destroyed in the first wave. Go ahead and do Bubble, let's do Vine Whip. You're actually not the one that was close by. Is everybody else? So this is where Venusaur should be a little bit more resistive, which is great that he has certain advantages like that. I like it, because remember, he has that, uh, that uh, bingo bonus is gonna make him just 50% more resistant to this kind of move. Uh, or all the fire type stuff, so that's pretty good. There's that wave cleared, excellent timing with everything. That burning does do damage, but not by much. Go ahead and do the vine whip, it hit that manky evolution, I forget his name. We need to evolutionize, or evo evolve, <laughs> that's the proper word, our manky, that would be good. Let's do ember if we can, we'll do bubble, we'll bubble land, it sort of kinda did. Got rid of that guy. So yeah, Venusaur is amazing. I definitely want to get him mixed in with a different team that I feel like would be even better. So let's try that out soon and see how things go. I mean, like, Bubble's okay. I think that we could definitely try to replace Blastoise's tackle for something even more effective and sort of see how that goes. Um, if we get something for Venusaur that's like, hey, maybe like a move that makes him like hit a little harder for a little while longer. I mean, chances are most of the time we're just gonna use his Vine Whip anyways. It'd be cool if we could just straight up remove a move for an upgrade slot for one of your other moves. You know, like that'd be pretty cool, but currently I don't think you can do that. Okay, so Vine Whip, nice. Bubble, not bad. Oh boy. 
And, oh, he's getting lower. This is our wave three right now, I think. What's this tackle? There you go. <laughs> no, the vine whip. Oh, no, the vine whip missed. Okay, uh, is this the boss? Yeah, he's not very large, but he's a Porygon. This is our first ever Porygon boss, weird. Uh, well, let's try to get rid of him. Let's do Ember, we'll do Vine Whip on him, because it looks like Porygon and Venusaur right now are like 1v1. Because everybody else is attacking just one normal Porygon. Okay, we got rid of one of the Porygons, we're about to get rid of another one. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a, like a landing on that move. Yeah, we're, we should be able to do this just fine. Awesome. And then after this, we should be able to get a couple Pokemon, which will be amazing. Uh, Vine Whip, Vine Whip. It's not working, so he probably actually already used it, but it just didn't tell me. Or he's paralyzed. One of those two things is probably the truth. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, that almost took us out. That would've been bad. Got him, okay. Hit him with the bubble. Good job, Blastoise. We beat a Porygon. Pretty sure that's one of our first Porygon bosses. Maybe like our second or third, but we definitely have not gone against very, very many Porygons. And we should have gotten three stones for that one, which is pretty cool. Almost level 54 for you. A successful expedition is pretty good for uh, Charizard right now, but no hit healing there, so I'll probably recycle the most of those. Um, so look at this. Let's go to our uh, base camp, and we got ourselves four cooking pots to open up. These should be pretty decent at the least. You know, they're Pokemon, you know, with golden cooking pots, so we'll get something. We got a mulligan, it can be just about anything. And it's gonna be another Venonat. We already have an evolved shiny Venonat, so I don't really know how much I'm gonna want this one. Not shiny, just a Venonat, level 85, not too bad. I'll take a look at it for sure, but I don't really know if I'll keep it. Take a look at this right here, there's gonna be that hot pot we made, and hopefully that has a Charmander. Oh, it has a Growlithe, which isn't always too bad. I could use that to level up our Charizard. Still, it'd be more effective if it was a Charmander, but it's not. So, work with what I got, see what ends up happening. Flamethrower, not a big fan of the move. We'll have to see what your uh, bingo bonuses are, but for now, moving over to another mulligan. We can get just about everything. Oh, we get a double, another slow poke for sure. But then what is the other thing? Okay, first off, slow poke. You have ice punch, I think that is. Level 90, pretty good. Ice punch and tackle. And then you are Lickitung. Now, I think we have a Lickitung in the past. I don't know if you ever evolved it. But yeah, Lickitung became our buddy. Level 81, power up punch. The user delivers a punch with its hard fist to enemies directly in front of itself. Damaging them often raises the amount of damage the user deals. Interesting. Um, then we have Mega Punch. After approaching enemies in front of itself, the user slugs enemies directly in front of itself with a muscle-packed punch damaging. That actually sounds pretty good. 561? That's like, that's crazy amount of damage for a five second wait time. Oh, we should try Lickitung. <laughs> okay. And we got these guys over this way, what do we got? It's a mulligan, so finally we got a double Pokemon down the cooking pot there though, that was pretty good. Can we get another one? Oh boy! Was that what I thought it was? Yes, it's another Eevee! This is really good, and it's level 93. Why this is good is because we need multiple Eevees to complete our Pokedex, so I am super duper excited about that. That is amazing. And I mean, Eevee's just a normal type I think to start out with. That is so exciting, look at that. But, um, oh, that is so cool. I think we should keep with the uh, the fire type stuff as much as I can. I mean, the chance of us getting Charmander with this setup I think is low. I think we need it to be big roots instead, which we could do a little bit of, and sort of see how things end up going. And then for the rest of the summer, I'm just gonna dump in random stuff, I think. Well, I mean, I could do stuff for uh, Venusaur and Bulbasaur. Not Bulbasaur, Venusaur and Blastoise and sort of see how things go. So, for the grass, what is that recipe? It was uh, one apricorn, which is those, two ball mushrooms, which we have an okay amount of, and then three big roots? Oh, did I do that wrong? It's only one ball mushroom. Okay, so I won't have enough for this, actually. Okay, you know what, then? We're not gonna do anything specific. We're just gonna dump in random stuff. That works for me. What do we have the most of? I think uh, the stuff that's gonna make a ground type with the fossils. But uh, we can try it anyways, you know, just onyxes. If we get a ton of onyxes, we could use this to train our Eevee or something. And that could be really good. If we can get that Eevee to gain one level, depending on its stats, I need to like research that a little bit more. How the Eevee is going to evolve, because that'll be so cool to see. Um, Cause Eevee can evolve into three different Pokemon, I think. So depending on their stats. So that's gonna be super exciting. Now we have more of these than we do 
of anything else. Let's go ahead and do this. This will make a yellow Pokemon. Probably nothing crazy, but at least I'm dwindling down on my resources with this, so give that a shot. And look at that, we have some that'll take four, some of them will take six, but no matter what, it's pretty exciting. See, we didn't get like a huge influx of certain Pokemon. Some of them we did, but uh, I definitely think I'll evolve those EVs next episode. I think that'll be our like big thing to focus on. Just trying to make sure like some of these new Pokemon, are they must-haves, are they not? Like, well, let's take a look at this Growlithe. Uh, what do you have for us, buddy? You are uh, level 79. We already saw that you have Flamethrower. Fire-type damage taken minus 25%. 100% resistance to being burned, fire type moves weight, minus 20%. Sounds pretty good, is that any better than our evolved Growlithe though? That's what I wanna see now. Um, and that's sort of how I compare and contrast. If it is, I can either use it for training for that Growlithe uh, evolution, the Arcanine, or I can just move on and do something else. Cause like you have decent moves, I think. You have, uh, you have Ember as well, and then you have uh, Flame Charge, which is pretty decent. And then if we move over here, you'll fire type damage, resistance to burn, normal type moves weight. So the only problem is that you do actually have some slightly worse stuff there, but I don't think it's worth totally changing up Pokemon for. So I don't think I need this Growlithe. I don't plan on playing as Arcanine too much. So I think I could use you for training. Uh, this low poke, probably the same deal with you, but we'll double check. Uh, you have the Ice Punch, you have the Tackle, so nothing interesting in the moves. Level 90 is great. Time to recover, resistance to being confused. Okay, nothing outstanding to me there. So we'll probably go ahead and use you for training, which we'll do once again in the next episode, I think. Lickitung. Now the Lickitung, I actually really liked their uh, their Megaton Punch, or the Mega Punch. And resistance to status conditions, resistance to status conditions, resistance to status conditions. So you're going to be 25, 15, 10. So 50% resistant to status conditions. You're gonna be a crazy tank. I like that actually. We might actually be able to work with this. A very hard hitting, one off kind of tank character is cool. And we should have another Lickitung somewhere. Um, I'm gonna look for that really quickly. Uh, I'm almost positive we have, yep, right, right here. This is level 25. It's a very low level. Um, what do you have? You just have Rollout, which I'm not really the biggest fan of that move. And you have Resistance to Effects, twice over. Um, attack of normal type moves. So not really what I'm looking for overall, I think. So I think we're gonna keep with the, the higher level Lickitung, and we'll see if you evolve at all. I'm not sure if you do. But uh, we'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, so high level Lickitung right there, and then where is the other dude? He's right here, got him. And that'll be level 82. Hope everything turns out well with this. Seems like it will. Boom, see ya other like a tongue. And we get level 82. Do you evolve though? That's a big question. I guess you don't, okay. I mean, maybe you evolve at an incredibly high level, but I doubt it. Okay, so there's still tons of Pokemon to approach and look into for sure. I wanted to see the uh, bingo bonuses for this Eevee. Um, movement speed, attack, normal type moves, attack. Okay, not bad. I don't really know how much I would use the Eevees, but it would be a lot of fun to have them all because I want to complete the Pokédex. So that's one less Eevee to worry about getting. I just need to make sure. I think that uh, for the three evolutions, you need one where the attack is higher than the defense, one where the defense is higher than the attack, and one where they're both equal. That's going to be the hard one. So if I could get that one out of the way soon, that'd be great. Speaking of which, where's our other Eevee? Because I would like to see that one and sort of see what are the stats? That one's 188 to 199. So it could be very difficult for me to find proper power stones and stuff to really balance that out. But I probably could if I gave it enough time. So yeah, that's what really matters. For now though, I think that's about all I wanted to play for today. We played as some of the, you know, the, the starters, we had a cool starter team. And if you have any cool other team combinations you wanna see me do later on in the series, let me know. But I'll try to train up between episodes, try to get more cooking pots set up, all that kind of stuff. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Starter Zebra, so now you've watched at the end, and that you are a Zebra Tasking viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.